and parts of Orange County are also underwater. Yeah, Sky 6 flew over the Orla Vista area where homes and cars are flooded. Dark water taking the place where the roads used to be. News Sixers Lewis Bolden is live for us in Orla Vista tonight. Lewis. Hi, Matt. Specifically, we are in the Oak Creek neighborhood, and I'm told that this community has been here since the 1960s. It's made up of, of about 75 mobile homes, and if you take a look at uh, the water over the roadways here, there are a number of side streets that look exactly like this one. So people have not been able to move their vehicles, or uh, th those people who left for the storm have not been able to drive back to their homes. And Robro, if you turn over around to the right here, um, earlier we have seen seen people coming back to their properties to assess the damage um, all day long. And uh, we saw one man who had uh, plastic bins. He lived all the way down, and we're going to try to zoom in and show you how far he had to walk in this water. Typically, the advice is not to walk in water like this. But this man said, you know, I, I've got family members. Uh, specifically, his son has to go to school on Monday, he said. And so he had to get clothes for everybody because uh, they left in a hurry and didn't have time to grab much. He also said that he's lived in this area for many, many years and gone through many storms, but he has never seen it flood like this. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. The water up the front was about this high mm -hmm. uh, for Irma. Mm -hmm. For this, you'd be underwater okay. uh, this time. Mr. Phillips, when, where did you ride out the storm? Uh, I actually rode, rode out the storm in my home. Okay. Uh, yesterday morning, about 6.30, we come out and notice how high up the water was at about 6.30. That's when I moved my car over there mm -hmm. and started getting things together to try and get out. Mm -hmm. It came up really quick, really fast to where we actually had water coming into the trailer. Mm -hmm. I ended up with six inches of water in the front of the trailer, about 10, uh, 10 to 11 inches in the back of the trailer. That was David Phillips, and even with all of that, he said to me when he came back to the neighborhood today, he said, you know what? The water has receded, and so he was happy about that. So that's one thing I can say about the people in this community. They are making the most out of a situation that is not great. Another thing we heard earlier today, there was one neighbor who was advising other people that when they came in to check on their properties to be careful because there is a lake on the other side of this community. And uh, that neighbor said that she saw gators coming into this area from the larger lake down there. And I can tell you right before we set up for this live shot, my photographer, Robert Brewer, spotted one right down the way. And you can see how that happens when a lake overflows and uh, basically the water covers up the streets. You know, gators and everything else that are in, the, in that water are going to be in this area too. Um, so we advise people, if they are coming back to this area, be very, very careful. But you can understand when people have things like clothing and medication that they need to get. But again, be careful. Right now, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, good to see you on some dry land out there. Not much to speak of. Lewis Bolden, thank you.